Welcome to Dodgers Daily. I'm Casey Porter. I'm so glad that you've decided to tune in. We have a great show for you today. We continue on with our MLB Pipeline Dodgers Top 30 Prospects. This one is on the number three prospect, according to MLB Pipeline, Miguel Vargas. We know all about him. The second baseman, third baseman, left fielder, you name it. It looks like he's going to be given runway with the Dodgers at second base this year. But the one thing he is that we know he is, he's a hitter. This dude can absolutely hit. We're going to go over some of the numbers. We're going to cover Miguel Vargas. We're going to talk about why he's good. We're going to talk about how he's been good. And we're going to cover it all with Miguel Vargas. But, hey, before we do, just a reminder, if you like this video, if you like this kind of content, go ahead and click that like button, leave a comment, tell all your friends about Dodgers Daily. And also, hey, go ahead and subscribe. And not only subscribe, but click that notification bell. That way, every time Dodgers Daily releases a new video, you'll be notified. And Dodgers Daily will keep growing, and we can keep providing you content like this in the future. Okay, let's not waste any more time. Let's get to the Dodgers' number three prospect, according to the MLB Pipeline, Miguel Vargas. All right, so let's get going. As you can see, I mentioned, you know, the shift in AAA last year. He's, you know, he's listed as a third baseman there, but making a play from the shortstop position on the move. So, Chase, as we roll through this, give us your thoughts. There's another shift from the shortstop spot. Yeah, I I really like the way that he comes to the baseball. Um, I I think that – you know he's he's definitely not afraid to go and make a hard play, um, just in, just within these first you know two three four videos. Th- these are not field level, yeah. These are not you know. Average. I like that arm from field level there. I do. I like it a lot. These aren't these aren't just average plays. These are hard plays to make. Moving left, moving right, uh, backhands. Um, you know, working through balls. Um, he, he, I mean, he's like I said, he's a really, really good baseball player. Um, this is not a highlight that, video, by the way. This is again, there's an error. You can tell this is this is every play that he made for like a three week span. Yeah, it's I, he. I think defensively, there, we we should have no concern if he's our if he's our every day second or third baseman for that matter. I, I really like his glove. There's another shift right there. And, you know, one of the knocks on him, if you read scouting reports, is the footwork. You know, is his footwork to you? Does it look quick enough to be a high-level major league third baseman? I think I think with some of these plays that we're seeing, I, I, I really – I think that I think that he's going to find a lot of success. Um, you know, and, and guys are, are probably running a little bit faster and balls are, are being hit harder and things like that. Um, but – I think that, you know, along with the rest of these young guys, you know, with with a lot of quality, quality reps, I think that he'll be just fine. There's one at second base. That's what I'm talking about. There were a lot of plays that he made at second base. You say, well, the Dodgers are working. There's another one at shortstop. The Dodgers are working Vargas out at second base. And you go and you look at the game logs and it lists him at third base. So there's another one. Okay. He was actually listed as the third baseman on those plays, but made the play from a second base position because he was in a shift. So, you know, having to play up the middle like that, you know, Vargas obviously has had to use the footwork. So tell us what you think. You know, there's a lot of plays from third base that you have to come in on, like this one right here, and you have to throw on the run. What do you think about him making that play? It, I mean, it looks it looks almost natural to him. I, I think that, um, you know, I think that there could be maybe a there's little bit There's one left more. field, by the way. Yep, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Again, it's it's just proven that these guys are good baseball players. I think there could be a little bit more arm strength there, um, but I, I think that you know with with being at the at the major league level, I think that they'll recognize that, work on it with him, and I don't I don't think it'll be an issue thirty games through the season. Now here's another one left field feeling for the wall. That right there tells you, you know when you get to the warning track and you're comfortable enough to relax. You know a lot of people panic when they get towards that that wall. That that tells me right there he has a great awareness of where he's at on the field. Here's another thing too. If you look at the footwork, he does not take anything for granted. You know, he's not so great that he feels like he can just not be mechanically sound. So if you look at his footwork every time, like just like that, you know, he had a, and of course that throw was high, but he had a lot of time to make that play but he did not take it for granted he got his feet up underneath him and got his shoulder square to throw yeah I, I think that man I, I really like his glove work I like how yeah. he you know pushes through baseballs and and um, just coming across coming through but th- coming through balls I mean he's making he's making these 
Um, that's not deep so there, too. I mean, it's not like he's even with the bag. He's deep. Yeah, it's, it, he's making these not-so-routine plays look routine, um, and, and I think that that's definitely going to help him, um, especially when he's playing, you know, in front of a whole bunch of people and, and the, the moments are big and things like that. I think that if he sticks true to his mechanics like he's doing in these videos, he's going to find a lot of success. I like that angle there that, that I know he, that was up the line, which I'm not concerned about. I mean, errors happen, you know. That's yeah. not the point of watching that play. The point is you get to see the arm strength from field level, even on that play, you know. I like, like I said, we've seen him go to his left. We've seen him go deep to his left. We've seen him play from the second base position right there. That's the one I like. Look at him feed second. And you know as well as I do, when you feed second base like that, you know, your throw has to be made pretty much before you catch the ball by getting your footwork. I like that spin to the glove there. Your footwork has to be done before you catch the ball. And I like the way that he was moving his body towards second base with his footwork to, to make the feed a lot easier. Yeah, and, and one thing that I want to point out is, as we just saw, you know, that play right there. Um, yeah, I think I think he's a high quality outfielder too. Um, I think that he, he gets good reads on balls, and I think that um, I, I think he feels comfortable anywhere he's at, or at least mm-hmm. it, it's what it makes it look like. Um, you know, the the one that we just saw earlier, feeling for the wall. Um, there's several diving plays that that I've seen him make that. Um, not not very many people are able to make um and and and, uh, and then he, he just makes it look easy yeah so you know there's your video defensively of miguel vargas and mentioned you know if miguel vargas is going to stay this is a walk-off this is an electric moment you could tell very excited i wanted to show that entire walk-off just how much fun that he has playing baseball that's another thing if you watch miguel vargas his fun energy is very contagious he's just a wonderful young man he has a great time playing the game as you can tell you can tell his teammates love him so there's some intangible aspects to his game but look Let's move to his offensive aspect, which, you know, he is just a machine at the plate. And uh, hopefully this will <laughs> reel through. I think I t- <laughs> left this one on a little bit too long, but I promise there's some more offense coming from Miguel Vargas here in just a minute. But all right, here we go. Miguel Vargas, you saw one to left center. Now here's one to right center, man. He just wears out the gaps. He does, and I think that that's what's going to make him very, very, very good at the next level um, is, he, is he can hit to all fields and he can hit – very well to all fields um you know and, I, and i'm one of those guys where he does he has a lot of pop um but as i mentioned before you know i like gap shots i like them yeah. a lot and i think that um you know in times i think they're more beneficial than home runs are uh, well it's the biggest part of the field you know right? yeah. i mean yeah, yeah i mean just him showing that he can you know, hit hit balls to all parts of the field hard um uh, fastballs curveball change he can hit um Really, any pitch you throw at him, and he has a—I mean—he has a chance to take you deep. Um, but yep. he also has a chance to beat you, you know, with a with a ground ball up the middle, uh, with that. a cap shot. With <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he he find he finds ways to win at bats, and that's one thing that I really really do like about him. Well, and he does it. You know, a lot of guys, they have an idea. See, it. he came up and in, and he was able to turn on that ball. We just saw him hit a ball to right field on a on a slider low and away. Now we saw a riding four seam up and in that he was able to turn on, and it doesn't look like he's guessing. It looks like he's a good enough hitter to actually see the pitch out of the hand and adjust to the type of pitch it is and where it's located. Yeah, I think that's what um, I think that's what makes him so dangerous offensively um, is he's able to detect those things. You know, the, even the smallest, you know, he, the, the pitcher may be tipping a pitch or something and he's able to pick up on it, um, you know, and, and it looks like he knows what's coming before the pitch is even thrown. OK, so there's your video on Miguel Vargas. Final thoughts defensively, offensively. One thing that we didn't talk about, you know, just kind of the swagger that he carries himself with, you know, defensively in the field. Do you see that? You know, we talked about about that with Gavin Lux last time at the plate I think it's pretty obvious he's very confident so from a swagger perspective do you see that too yeah I love it I, I think that that's one thing that I like about a lot of these young prospects that the Dodgers have is they, they there's a lot of confidence um you know and they, and they just have fun and, yeah. and when they're having fun you know I think that um it allows other guys to have fun and it also makes it fun to watch so I think that um, you know, while you lose guys like Justin Turner and, and some of your older guys, I think that I think that these young guys are going to be are going to be really, really good. 
So after seeing that, or you know, I know you've seen a lot of Miguel Vargas, but still after having seen that, more encouraged, less encouraged? How do you feel after seeing all that? You know, I, I, I feel very encouraged, really. I, I, I like his swing a lot. Um, he, has a, he has a high quality swing and defensively, like I said, he makes not such routine plays look routine. Um, and, and he yeah. makes things that aren't very easy speaking from, I mean, speaking from experience, he makes, yeah. them, he makes them look like second nature to him. Okay, so if you're Dave Roberts, if you're the GM, Andrew Friedman, or your front office, what is your role for Miguel Vargas next year? Is he the Everdayman from day one? I I wouldn't see any reason why not. At least at least at this moment. So there you have it. There is our prospect feature on the Dodgers number three prospect according to MLB Pipeline, Miguel. Vargas and of course Miguel we all know the elite hit tool we went all over it we covered it so very high on Miguel very excited to see his future with the organization one more reminder fans if you like this video and if you like this kind of content go ahead and click that like button leave a comment tell all your friends about Dodgers Daily subscribe and turn on those notifications hit that notification bell that way every time Dodgers Daily drops a new video you'll be notified and Dodgers Daily can keep growing and we can keep providing you content like this in the future hey Thank you so much for tuning in to our MLB Pipeline Dodgers Top 30 Prospects Series. We'll be back again tomorrow with our next two prospects, and I hope you tune in to those two as well. As always, thanks for tuning in, and go Dodgers.